Leah, what are oh, you doing at what? this park on a random Tuesday afternoon? I love how it's not a green screen, but they're just in front of like <laughs> an image that's either being backlit or is just a painted like like they printed out a big image and then the printout was so big that they could stand in front of it. I love how it's not, it's like yeah, it's a big poster. What do you mean park? Wow, you're exposing us. Oh <laughs> no. I never would have known Sniper Wolf if she didn't do that. No one, no one ever, me. So you see, I loved our man. I loved our man and his fam jams. I'm just kidding. We're here at Darman's. He's Studios just kidding. For part three of our collab with Sniper Wolf. Hi guys. Are you excited? He said Sniper Wolf. With Sniper Wolf. Hi guys. The subtitle said Wolf, but he said Wolf. He definitely said Sniper Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're here at Darman Studios for part three of our collab with Sniper Wolf. Hi guys. Are you starting strong? Starting real strong. Ugh. Sniper woof. Excited for this one? Yes, very excited. Nice. And as tradition, nice. we're going to be giving away... Oh, fuck off! I hate that... Didn't channels get banned for this? Two brand new Apple... Why is this allowed? ...laptops. All you have to do is subscribe to my my channel subscribe to sniper wolf's channel and then he said Sni he said it again a second time wrong he said sniper it wasn't a mistake he genuinely <laughs> believes it's sniper wolf <laughs> he's collaborated with her twice <laughs> the second time confirms that that's what he thinks it is he's he's <laughs> they don't actually like each other at all <laughs> not like i not like i was not like my belief system was resting on them liking each other or anything. Not like I genuinely believed like they hang out outside of these collaborations, but like... You've done two of these with her and you don't even know her channel name. And new Apple laptops, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Sniper Wolf's channel, and then... Sniper Wolf. ...and comment done in each of our videos. Done in each of our videos. Should we start today's video? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and start it. There he is. Oh, give me the Apple laptop. This, this voice is going to confuse some people in this Darman Fam Jam upload. Oh shit! Uh, it's the bully that. <laughs> That's a good freeze frame. It's the bully that didn't believe that Psycho Mantis was a real gamer. Let's watch yeah. that again. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and start it. Okay, I need to see that in opening again. Sorry, this is so confusing. Should we start today's video? Was yeah, that a ball of paper right, that he just like it. threw up at himself and caught? Yeah. Hell yeah. I love the fake. <laughs> I love the fake spillage here. I love I love that they made they had like a sticker of dirt. They got like a sticker <laughs> for dirt. Like what is that? <laughs> what is that there? It's like a sticker. <laughs> Cause the school was too clean because it's not a real school. Oh, they spoil okay, wait. Is every one of his videos shot in, like, an actual studio? That's fucking insane. Because now it's like, okay, those are the same trees as before. Obviously, that's, like, not a real background. I assumed that he, like, rented out a couple locations. I assumed that there would have been some, like, schools that he used before. I don't know if that was changed. I don't know if he changed that or if he has always been just literally like filming in studios. That's pretty crazy. I don't criticize his budget name anymore now that I know he's doing studio shit. Oh, <laughs> it was an accident. 
<laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that the first time. I just saw the pose. <laughs> uh, it's been too long. It's been too long. On the highlights channel, it seems like it hasn't been too long because there was a video of me reacting to Darman fam jams like every day for the past month. But those were all from like two days. If you look at the if you look at the dates from the beginning of the video, they were all April 1st and April 14th. I reacted like a couple hours each day and there were like, I don't know, these videos are so, so short that I watched like 40 of them. And it filled up the highlights channel for so long. And then people were commenting, shouldn't you be working on your Lion King review? Why do you have so much time to watch Darman videos? And it's like, I haven't, I didn't spend that much time watching Darman videos. Jesus. This is the first Darman video I've watched since like April 14th, right? It's been like over a month. But on the highlights channel, it'll make it seem like I'm watching them every day. And even if I was, it's only like a bit each day, but I'm not. Anyway. I'm so sorry, Bree. Are you trying to be funny, Jordan? No. I, She's funny. I to do that. I was just trying to throw it in the trash. Was she in another Darman fam jam, or is she like a real actress? Because I recognize her for sure. Really? All right, then. She was in another fam jam, right? Where do I recognize her from? She's very familiar. Feels like she was like in a Nicholas Winding Refn film <laughs> or something, you know? Really? I don't subscribe to OnlyFans. I subscribe to Only Paws and Maws. All right then, let me help you throw it in the trash. Yeah, she was in Only God Forgives. I don't know. She looks a little familiar. Maybe she's just a white woman. Maybe I have the Gael disease where I think they all look the same. <laughs> so she's a bully. Bullying him because he threw trash at her face, which is a very interesting dynamic. Even though it was an accident, she is the bully in this scenario. I think I think on this Neon Demon, I don't know. Does anybody want to IMDB? Does anyone want to search into IMDB school janitor shamed by mean girls feet, feet sniper wolf Darman? Does anybody want to type that into IMDB and see if she's listed here? <laughs> Uh, me. I'm so sorry, Bree. Bree. Who played Bree? <laughs> yeah, be funny. my belly feels great. <laughs> I'm going to assume this IMDB link is not gay and words from outer space. All right, what was she in? Oh, just Darman in general. Bree? Okay, so I do have Gael syndrome, and it's just another white woman. Never mind. Sorry, everybody. Party's no. over. No, I, I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to throw it in the trash. Why are you, like, the same age? This is the cleanest janitor uniform I've ever seen. It looks like it came straight off the shelf. Really? All right, then. Let me help you throw it in the trash. Also the cleanest school I've ever seen, which is why they needed that sticker to pretend like... Oh, there's a good poster on IMDb? Okay, I'll check it real quick. It's just... It's just a good picture, okay? You can't criticize this. I don't know what's wrong with you. It's just a good... Maybe try taking a good picture sometime. I love how much of an impact that made with her just literally letting go of it like <laughs> 10 centimeters above his head. They added the sound effect. <laughs> Since you are trash, Jordan. Ouch! Nice one. I like her too. I like, I like, I like a dumb girl <laughs> who's just gonna say nice one to a comment like that. I think she's going to be a janitor when she grows up. <laughs> you have to be so mean. <laughs> it really ruined his day. This is...
<laughs> this is real I'm thinking of ending things. Oh my god, it's two girls bullying a janitor. It really is. That's a good thing. That's in the pro column. Yeah, he's cute. In his awkward way. We're interesting together as well. <laughs> oh, you posted an out of context screenshot of this stream. Where did you post it? Reddit or Twitter? People unironically think I cut my hair while unironically show them a clip of me telling them they're gay. You know, it must be so embarrassing having to clean floors between classes. Because this is, they're literally just ripping off Charlie Kaufman and somehow I'm literally just finding the perfect frames to pause on and make stupid faces out of Darman videos. Because your mom is so poor. Hey, <laughs> don't talk about my mom. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, whatever. And besides, you shouldn't judge someone until you want. I, I, love, I love how the kid in the background stopped what he was doing, by the way. Look at the kid in hey, the background. Don't talk about my mom. He was like about to go to class and he's like, this shit got real. <laughs> like, I gotta see what's happening over here. If you look at the last shot, he was actually about to go somewhere. Yeah. You don't have to be so mean. What's he doing? You know, it must be so embarrassing. <laughs> See, he just got, they just got his attention. Ah, oh, I love that kid. Having to clean floors between classes because your mom is so poor. He was about to go to class and he's like, no. Hey, don't talk about my mom. And besides, you shouldn't judge someone until you walk in their shoes. I like how it wasn't don't talk about my mom that way, but it was just like, don't talk about my mom. Like, she doesn't exist. You can't even compliment my mom. I'll talk about whoever I want to talk about. Oh, these kids just sitting there. They're drawing a crowd. Oh, my God. I love how you can tell that these aren't ripped jeans, but they're like expensive designer jeans where they make the rips for you to pretend like you're not rich. Jordan the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan. Ah, it starts with a J and he's a janitor. Ah. The janitor. That's so good. Oh, I love how she just repeats what she says. Oh my god. She's got like the best she's got like the best clout fam, you know? She's that's that's like her hype girl. Jordan the janitor. That's so good. Oh, that's 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 so good. Jordan the janitor. That's so good. Larry the loser. What was it? What was the what was the kid with the glasses? Four eyes. Nice job, Boaz Four Eyes. What was the Ferox? Oh, that's why I didn't remember the name. Ferox? Ferox? Fer Feroz? Ferot? You F Fraz? Let's keep going. Besides, why would I want to walk in your nasty shoes? He smells. <laughs> oh, that wasn't enough of an insult. Why would I want to walk in your nasty shoes? She's like, he smells. He smells. Like, I love that side eye that like, oh, it's so good. Every frame is a painting. You know, typical YouTube reviewers will just watch a Darman fam jam and have like, I don't know. In a 10 minute video, they'll have like, like 13 minutes of like commentary. I'm going to give you a full hour, okay? Every frame is a painting in a Darman fam jam. Smells. He go. smells. Let's go. Yeah. Ew. Is she dubbed? Is she dubbed or what? Yeah. Ew. What's going on with her voice? Sniper Wolf. Ah, uh, Sniper Wolf. She's gonna be at her school today. I forgot that this was a Sniper Wolf fam jam. <laughs> I, f I completely forgot that was happening. <laughs> there was just so much going. I thought this was a Charlie Kaufman joint. Yeah, you didn't know. She's coming after school with Psycho Mantis. Oh, are we gonna get a flashback to when he bullied? Oh no, we're totally getting that. Because they they just said the name Psycho Mantis, so now they're going to flash back him saying, you're a loser fun, or something, hey, right? Is he the same character? Is he the same character that Psycho Mantis paid his rent? 
meet and greet with S Sniper Wolf. <laughs> meet 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 and greet with SS Sniper Wolf. <laughs> Cause that's the yeah. channel name, right? If there's three yeah, no. S's, then she's, she's SS cool Sniper Wolf, right? Right? SS Sniper Wolf. Game theory. Is Sniper Wolf a Nazi? That's just a fairy! Yo! I heard Sniper Wolf just got here. Let's go outside and look. Oh, I love her performance. That was not me cringing. I genuinely love it. Thank you, Darman. Mm. Were those Cheetos? Those are Cheetos. Cheetos and Doritos. We got a nice little Frito-Lay product placement here. <laughs> I'm... Okay. <laughs> what was hap... I guess they're gonna have to explain this, right? <laughs> why is... Why is Sniper Wolf <laughs> behind the counter <laughs> in the cafeteria? <laughs> Oh, God! <laughs> what a close one. It's good when we have all these Frito-Lay products to keep us company here. That was a close one. Thanks again for doing this meet and greet. Sorry, I didn't think it'd get this crazy. Oh, that's what... They're not in the cafeteria. They're at the meet and greet kiosk in the school. And they just totally dipped? Like, what's going on? Yo! I heard Sniper Wolf just got here. Let's go outside and look. Let's... Sniper Wolf is already inside the school. Character runs in, says, Yo, I heard she just got here. And her first reaction is, Let's go outside and look. So the script is looking for an excuse for the characters, these characters, to go outside, right? Because these two characters need to have some dialogue together, right? And so the, the script needed to excuse the other characters who are fans for this meet and greet to be outside. So there had to be some confusion there, which is very interesting that they wrote it in that way because it's like, wow, I wrote better shit when I was 13 and it was cringe. Yo! I heard Sniper Wolf just got here. Yo! It just, I'm, like, imagine him doing multiple things. I'm sorry. Every frame is a painting. We're going to analyze every moment of this Darman fam jam. But just imagine Darman on set. Imagine this kid on set. Imagine being this kid. He didn't just do that once, right? He did that at least twice. Darman told him, or somebody, the director, assuming it's Darman, told him to run in there and say, Yo! Just imagine doing that more than once, right? Imagine, put yourself in his yo, position for once. I heard Sniper Wolf just got here. I want to hear that Let's yo one more time. We need a yo. Yo! I heard Sniper Wolf just got here. Let's imagine being her. Look at her for a second. Let's go outside and look. <laughs> She's so hyped. So they were like right next to them, right? Because otherwise, why would they be behind? Why would they be behind a counter when he just heard that they got there? How long were they behind a counter for? And yeah, she's looking right at the camera. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, how long were they behind the counter for? This counter is right next to them. They're running away in the same frame as the counter. Okay, this is. I, I'm glad I'm going over this for like an hour because this is so confusing and I need to understand what's happening. Trash. No recycling. Yo! Okay, so he comes in from the right of the frame. This is a cafeteria. This is a cafeteria. There's a poster. There's a table. There's some lunch trash. There's a garbage with no recycling because it's. We haven't gotten that pro progressive. I heard Sniper yet. just got here. Okay. Other cafeteria. Items in the background, self-serve, no cash register, because this is the new Amazon cafeteria where you just pick an item and walk out. We've got posters of vegetables and a grapefruit. And these children 
who were already standing, just chilling, standing in the cafeteria, which is a very small cafeteria, heard this child say, yo. Let's go outside and look. And she immediately, without e without him even suggesting that she was outside, she, who had just been informed of Sniper Wolf's presence here, decides that she is outside. And everybody else goes along with it, and they all leave very quickly. And within this same frame, this is the desk that Sniper Wolf and Psycho Mantis were hiding behind for who knows how long. And these kids didn't notice them, and they somehow got there. And their first interaction, as soon as they come out of this area, is like, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was, like, so packed. It's like, why are you here? <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, there's five children in this tiny cafeteria that weren't even asking for your attention because they didn't even know you were here because you were hiding yeah, behind the counter. My belly feels great! <laughs> Assuming COVID is over, if Darman asked you to be in a video, would you do it? No, because I would offend him and I would feel mean and rude by yelling all this same shit next to him. And I, I if I wasn't yelling these things, I would be thinking it and he would know. And I would feel like a bad person and I don't like that kind of drama, so no. That was a close one. That was a close one. Why are you here? Why are you here? Thanks again for doing this meet and greet. It's a meet and greet. What do you mean? A meet and greet where you actively avoid people who want to meet and greet you? What kind of a fucking meet and greet is that? What do you mean? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> There's like five people. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think- We haven't even gotten through three minutes of this video. This is- I've been doing this for a while. Get, get this crazy. <laughs> this is the craziest meet and greet where we haven't even interacted yeah, with anybody my yet. Belly feels great. <laughs> if you like, Darman would collab with Daddy Derrick. <laughs> Daddy Derrick, I love it. I'm so happy. Good choice. Oh, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Even though I was just hiding behind this kiosk. I like how the subtitle said parentheses dustpan. That was a good subtitle. Let's just all appreciate the subtitle Fine. dustpan. As it still shows SS Sniper Wolf in the frame. Dustpan. This is a good frame out of context. This is a good image to tweet. You know? SS Sniper Wolf in the frame and just the word dustpan in parentheses it's like what the fuck is this <laughs> this is so st this is the worst cafeteria i've ever seen i love how they put windows here oh my god they put windows here they installed windows in the studio and then pretended like there were like i don't know curtains on the windows or like there's construction outside just don't put windows just pretend that there's another classroom on the other end of the cafeteria. You'd save money. Just do all drywall. Oh my god. These two these two person tables in this high school cafeteria. I'm not sure I've seen those. Maybe they exist, but I'm assuming most high school cafeterias are designed to seat more than six children. Wait, isn't that Oh, it's the guy who said Psycho Mantis is gay. Jordan? Yeah! Jordan? Okay, so I'm familiar with my Darman fan jam lore. Last time, last time we saw uh, Psycho Mantis and Jordan, they were like in the same grade in school, right? Is this to imply that Psycho Mantis is an adult and not a child? and she's coming back to a different high school to do the meet and greet? Or is this her high school? Are they supposed to be adults? He was a student and she was a student, correct. What ages are they now? Cause she's still like five. Thanks for the bits, thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. You can refund it if my thank you wasn't 
earnest enough. I'm trying to react to a Darman fam jam. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> he did this weird thing with his hands that looked like he was grabbing his pee pee. <laughs> Let's see that again. Whoa. Oh, what was. What was in his pants? Why do he literally have. What is that? Why does he have something inside his fucking zipper? Was that a troll? No one's noticed. This is why I review media. So, the, okay, it was this. It was this part. Okay, so this long stick, right? And then there's this tiny part, and it somehow got stuck inside his zipper. Oh, that! See, look, he leans. <laughs> he leans forward into it. It's the. It's the part of the dustpan, the dustpan that has its own subtitle, and it's inside his fucking crutch. It's in. <laughs> it's like right in there. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Isn't that? And they kept the take. They kept the take of the actor noticing that was that it was going through his fucking fly <laughs> and they kept the, the they kept the end of the shot where he where he had to forcefully remove it from his pants jordan <laughs> see look it's not quite in yet it's not quite there and then he like leans forward a bit oh look it's literally caught in its fly it's literally <laughs> And this is the take they kept. <laughs> he's he literally looks like he's grabbing a black cock. It looks like he's got a strap on. Oh my god. It's what's really funny is like the actor that decides to remove that from the frame and then just like the director going like it's good. And then the actor, I guess, either saying nothing and then just assuming the editor would notice or saying something and the director is like, I don't care. Right? <laughs> every, every frame is a painting. I told you, if you're not going through Darman videos frame by frame, you miss out on the best parts. You don't understand. I'm going to be talking about this video for a fucking hour. It's only 10 minutes long. But it makes a very good argument for fair use. Okay, lean forward. Handle in your fly. Yep. And it's uncomfortable. I feel it touching my pee-pee. I'm going to move my other... <laughs> this didn't need to... You could have cut the shot earlier. Why do you think he moved his hand down to his pants? Why do you think he moved... Why do you think he moved his hand there, whoever edited this? Did you leave that in as a joke? Did you know I would be watching this video? Why do you think he moved his hand there? Why would you keep this part of the shot? Excuse me? <laughs> okay. What are you doing, just as a janitor? Janitor? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like an inmate. <laughs> he looks like he, he looks like he's in prison. <laughs> Who makes a janitor wear this shit? <laughs> this is a bet. Is this an American school? Is this is America, fam jam. I picked up a job to help my mom with rent. I know it's so embarrassing. No, it's not. It's actually really cool. Are they both still in school or what? I picked up a job to help my mom with rent. Yeah, you can do that whether or not you're still in high school. But what is what is the implication here? Is this is this Psychomantis's school or are they both graduated and she's just the youngest graduate? Right? Is she a genius? Did did the high school say, "I'm sorry, you're a pro gamer now. You don't have to graduate. You're done." 
Which honestly they should do. Let's be honest. Based. Yeah. Like I used to work at a store folding clothes. There he is. He don't remember this in good will and thing. There's no shame in hard work. There's no shame in hard work like folding clothes. <laughs> I wish that was true. There's I I know you I know you clean teenagers shit out of the ur urinals in the men's in the boys bathroom. I know that kids sm smear swastikas with their feces on the walls. But I know what you're feeling because I folded clothes for a hot minute. I totally relate to you. I folded clothes at a store once. I know you're cleaning up after little bastards that want to make your day worse and you're getting paid like shit and I'm a millionaire, but I folded clothes, so I know what you're talking about. There's this girl, Bree. She just humiliated me in front of all the school. <laughs> I like how they... <laughs> that, like, that's the worst moment in a janitor's life is like accidentally clocking a girl in the head with your trash okay 303 we're gonna get back to this time step we need to i'm sorry i'm going back here but we need to re-examine this because this is like clearly left a stain on his psyche right like this is a janitor and there's such little trash in the school that he doesn't carry around a bag for his trash he instead tries to kobe it into the pre-installed trash cans on the wall, right? And there's just one tiny piece of paper. He's sweeping, he found one piece of paper, and he accidentally Kobe's it into her face. And this is like the worst day of his life. And so he's gonna talk about it to Sniper Wolf and Psycho Mantis, who he used to bully. Is this girl Bree? She just humiliated me in front of all the school. You're just in front of the Okay! There were like six kids! What do you mean the whole school? I guess if the cafeteria is that small, then maybe this is a school of six children only, right? There's this girl, Bree. She just humiliated me in front of all the school. The whole school! There's like six kids that go to this school. You're joking. You're, you're the jokester. Bree? Someone should call her parents. No human re would react that way to just somebody saying she humiliated me in front of the whole school. What's the context, right? What's the context? You can humiliate someone for being a fucking creep. You can humiliate you can humiliate someone for many reasons that are not necessarily oh, reasons so that you would right. call someone's parents over. Who what's it How do you how do you react to that sentence with that? It's not a normal human being sentence. I don't know what SS Sniper, Sniper Wolf is like in real life, so I don't know. It was true. There's this girl, Bree. She just humiliated me in front of all the school. You're joking. Bree? Someone should call her parents. Bree? Someone should call her parents. Footsteps. Oh, they just realized that you're not outside for this this meet and greet that you're actively avoiding meeting and greeting people for. Are you gonna duck behind the counter again? How did you get inside? Oh no, I think they're coming. RUN! This way before they see- <laughs> Gotta barricade the doors this way before they see- I love how- I love how he whispers. I love how he whispers this. Those foots- this is like the word. oh my god. The sound for the footsteps, the foley. The foley is like... The foley man brought flip-flops and then just did this like... Like that in front of a microphone, right? Someone should call her parents. Oh, no. oh I heard a squeak. How did they get that sound? It's so weirdly unnatural. I think they're coming. This way before they see you. You know high school kids walking very briskly without saying a single word? You know how you hear their footsteps and not their voices? 
you know high school children they're never talking they just walk silently with each other and you hear their squeaky shoes someone should call her parents oh no i think they're coming it's like it's like a fucking dinosaur like they're coming <laughs> like what <laughs> these children that never communicate with each other and walk in packs but don't like each other <laughs> like i don't know what's happening this might be fun to see you like i love the whispering it's so funny thanks Jordan. i love how i love how he crouches forward too i don't know why he crouched forward Perhaps to emphasize that they're trying to be quiet, but like he's not moving. It's like it's such a weird thing. This might be before they see you. This might be before they see you. Like why is he why is he leaning forward like that? What is going on? What is he doing? Why can't he just stand normally? Maybe they framed the shot. Oh, I know why. Okay, so in shot reverse shot, right? Here's shot reverse shot. These two are like not quite the same height. She's a little bit taller. But he's way tall. Look at that. That's his cheek height. This is exactly why. Uh, so shot, reverse shot, they can do this. You know, he's in the frame and then they're in the frame. But then this shot, they're all in the same frame. So he has to crouch over. If they want to have a close shot, right? She's already like near the top of the frame. He has to like literally crouch over so they can film this properly. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> this is, that's just a feely. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. It's like you saved my fucking life, Jordan. Why are you here? Why are you here? What kind of meet and greet is this where you avoid everybody? Is this hide and seek meet and greet? Like, is that what this is? Meet and greet with SS Sniper Wolf today at Heritage High School. It's a hide and seek meet and greet. Like, what is this? Why are you avoiding everybody? Why are you here? Are you paid to be here? Do you not enjoy meeting and greeting? Why are you here? This is an advertised event. You have posters. Why are you avoiding everybody? This might be fun to see you. Shout out to the people who watch the Highlights channel that are not annoyed every time I press the pause button on a Darman video to interject my fabulous commentary. Thanks, like this video if you're one of those peeps. I love how quickly he closes the door to like they can't see that someone went through this door. Like they're already gone, but he's like we can't let them know that the door was opened. <laughs> he closes it so quickly. <laughs> Yeah, I saw a couple comments that are like, why do you pause the video all the time? It's like, I don't know. You could just watch the original video if you want to watch the original video. The title's right here. The URL's right here. Or do you want to watch my commentary on the video? If you want to watch my commentary on, my, on the video, you're in the right place. Right? Turns out I'm making fair use com content... Com com commentent commentary con commentary. I've had a couple drinks. I'm sorry. Let's go. Hey, um, have you seen Sam or Sniper Wolf? Sam or Sniper Wolf? Why would he dead name Psycho Mantis? What the fuck? No, I haven't. Ah! <laughs> I I I love. Remember the kid I was talking about earlier? Who was like, yeah, this kid. I. Look at his look at his gesture. Look at it. He's like such a good motion here. Oh, my, his life is fucking ruined. <laughs> like Oh my god. <laughs> this is the worst day. <laughs> this is a hilarious exchange. These like these lemmings that are after Sniper Wolf and Sam. Who, sh who they should be calling Psychomantis if they don't want to dead name her. Hey, um, have you seen Sam or Snipe Wolf? No, I haven't. No. I guess we have to go home. <laughs> 
Who did they hear from that they got here? The one kid was like, I heard they just got here. And then the other kid who wasn't even a part, like, of that initial discovery said, let's go outside. Even though she wasn't... Oh, my... None of this makes any sense. None of this makes any sense. Ah! Oh. Ow. Oh. Whoops. She smokes weed. Look at that. She smoked weed before she went on set today. Look at that face. I I know one when I see one. She did a weed. <laughs> Look at her. She's doing a weed. I love how low this fucking jacket is. It's to her knees. My god. Wardrobe. What the fuck? I missed. Ah! <laughs> ah, bully. Can you leave me alone? I'm just trying to get my work done. Oh, he's just trying to get his work done. Aww. Now I feel bad. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Wow. Thanks, Bree. I... I like how he's being tricked, even though he was a bully in the last episode. I like how he he had the bully mindset. He should know better. He was once in her shoes, but he's being so easily fooled here. Clean this, Jordan the janitor. Oh, I thought she was going to just pull down her pants and piss all over the floor. Nice kicks, by the way. Jesus. This is a really funny frame. <laughs> That's so good. I love her. She's my favorite. I love this girl. She's she's high as fuck. She doesn't care. She wasn't even supposed to be here this day. She's like Darman's nephew. And she asked if he, she could show. She's like, can I be a character? He's like, I don't know. She's like, I could be the bully's hype girl. I could be the bully's hype girl. And he's like, I guess. And then she shows up and she killed it. I love her. I love her so much. Oh my God. Best character. She's the best. I love her. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> How would you do that? <laughs> What's the big deal? It's your job to clean. Isn't yeah. It? You'd like get fired if I wasn't making this place a pigsty, idiot. How would you feel if I did that to you? <laughs> did I say nephew? I'm sorry. Is it not the year 2021? Can a nephew not not look like a girl? Are you are you saying that the way that she pr presents or the way that she identifies he or she makes her disqualified from being a nephew? Are you that fucking phobic of being in the year 2016 and plus? I'm going to cancel chat. Chat, you're canceled. I don't think that necessarily looking like this means that you identify as a niece or a nephew. So, yeah, there you go. Chat's canceled. Sorry. <laughs> I identify as a nephew. And a niece and a nice. I identify as nice. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. On this nice, perfectly sunny day with these high school doors just open and the most perfectly clean floor and everyone's clean shoes and clean clothes having perfectly ripped jeans where there's no mess anywhere except a one one sticker that they brought earlier and yet you're cleaning anyway come quick the toilet's clogged <laughs> <laughs> i just dropped a dookie jordan jordan you gotta clean up my dookie and then she says, <laughs> that's so funny. You dropped a dookie. <laughs> a Jordan's got to clean up your dookie. <laughs> High five. Low five. Oh, I'm actually 
off the clock. What janitor becomes off the clock before the school day is over? I guess maybe you could have a lunch break. Is that the implication? I don't think so. This is a weird pose, but whatever. Aw. All right, I'll tell you what. The way she enunciated that is so strange. Right, I'll tell you what. Actually, off the clock. Aw. All right, I'll tell you what. So weird. You make like six bucks an hour? I hope not, but I forgot that America doesn't have like a competent minimum wage. Jesus fucking Christ. Please, though. Please, please let there not be six dollars an hour janitors. Please, God. I feel so bad. <laughs> Maybe they get tips. Maybe it's one of those tip loopholes that Americans have. Here's 50 cents for some of your time. Oh, there! He's making it up in tips! There we go! Now yeah! Go clean my belly feels great! <laughs> IGTG. Thanks for making the cringiest stuff on the planet entertaining. GTG. Good... Bonne nuit, monsieur. Bonne nuit. In the toilet, Jordan the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> So does she actually drop a dookie or what? You know what, Bree? I used to be a bully too. <laughs> yes! Yes, it's being acknowledged! You see... <gasps> <laughs> he was about to... They subverted the expectations by interrupting the you see. <laughs> Look, there's SS Sniper Wolf! <laughs> All right, we're watching that again. Your time. Now go clean the toilet. She intercepted that, you see. She totally intercepted that. Jordan the janitor. <laughs> you know. I love how all these kids that are the same age as the janitor love to bully him. <laughs> what, Bree? I used to be a bully, too. What's up with the marks on the floor? I don't know. They had to... Actually, you know what? Okay, I was about to say no, they had to make it dirty. These are actually little pieces of tape that they use for blocking. So when you're doing staging for like a play or a film, sometimes you put pieces of tape for rehearsals that you would maybe want to take off if you're showing the floor. So this, so his foot's there because that's where he's supposed to be standing. She probably had her foot there before she pulled it back, right? So these little markers are where their feet are supposed to be. Um, that's just like a staging thing, right? Uh, and they forgot to remove them or thought that their audience was filled with dumb people who wouldn't notice. Or that they don't care. Which they don't. And I don't care, and it's better because of it. I I would say never remove the blocking tape because I have more to talk about. And I'm the only one that would notice, so ideally, you you keep it on for me. You know what, Bree? I used to be a bully too. You see, <gasps> well, ah! there's Sniper Wolf. Did she just fucking troll him? <laughs> oh, I love her. She's the best bully. Ah! Oh, she tipped over his, his his mop bucket full of the cleanest non soapy water, just just regular tap water without soap and without dirt. The cleanest water ever from the janitor's mop bucket, <laughs> and only like I don't know a cup full. <laughs> just kidding. Haha, <laughs> you'll never meet. SS Sniper Wolf. I accidentally knocked over your water bucket. Ah, I love her so much. She's so funny. There's a weird thing happening in the lift. I accidentally knocked oh, it was just her backpack. I was like, why is there an artifact? Have fun, son. All your right. Water bucket. <laughs> you better clean this up. 
You know what's really funny? She reminds me of one of my best friends, Paige slash Peach. Um, but not in an unironic sense. But her doing this perform, I could imagine Peach doing the same performance. You know, she's done the same sarcastic sort of attitude to me. She's done that exact same voice to me. Like, yeah, clean this up. You know, great. like that. <laughs> The Lie Girls Annunciation reminds me of the we can't wait for dinner girl in fateful finding. I'm hungry. I can't wait for dinner. <laughs> you better clean this up. She's totally done that same performance to me. You know? She's totally done that in an I ironic sort of way. <laughs> Brie Elizabeth Johnson. Brie Elizabeth Larson. Mom? Okay, mom shows up out of nowhere, somehow witnessed the whole thing. Like, mom just showed up from outside. Like, this, this bullying, her knocking shit over, had to have happened before the mom was even aware of what was happening, right? She wasn't even, like, within distance of seeing anything, right? But she walked up. I accidentally knocked over your water bucket. <laughs> you better clean this up. <laughs> I love it. So she walked up and she saw the scene. She saw the uh, the the mise en scene and uh, how people were uh, blocked, right? And uh, she immediately decided, "Yep, my daughter's." Bullying people again. Yeah, that is Karen Heterochromia. Elizabeth Last name. Johnson. That is her. Mom? Mom? What are you doing here? I love how every bully winds up having their mom show up. Like, that's, that's like the ultimate diss to a bully is reminding people that they also have a mother. When, honestly, I don't know, probably a hefty amount of troubled children might have parents that aren't involved in their lives at all, you know, or like parents that are dead or something. I don't know. I heard how you've been treating Jordan. Oh, Jordan's been telling on you. How did you hear about this? Thank you, Darman, for changing my life. Merci, Darman. Pour uh, changer mon vie? I might have butchered that. How could you act like that? What heard from who? We sniper wolf. Hey. Oh, sniper wolf told on her. <laughs> I love this pose. I I love I love the Robert Pattinson awkward photo pose. I love it. It's really good. I wish more people would do it. Hey friends, let's go outside so we can hang out. What? You set up a booth! You set up a booth and ran away from people! What are you doing? What is this? What? You, you, there was, this was, there was supposed to be a meet and greet. <laughs> I was gonna hide from these losers all day, but then when they started bullying the janitor, I was like, maybe I'll suffer for a moment to distract these demons from the janitor. Get out of here, Sniper Wolf. There he is. Thank you, Cuddles the Tiger. <laughs> nice name. Oh, you can go too, honey. Sorry. Oh my god. You can go too, honey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love her little skimpy runaway. Look at her go. She doesn't take any of this seriously. Like, okay. She acts at the same caliber as somebody who is like, let's imagine somebody who's in high school and was assigned to a group project of someone else's film. This is not a real actor. She has to be like related to somebody, right? She's taking this as seriously as somebody who is like assigned to a group project for a, a subject in school that they don't care about, right? 
That's how seriously she's taking this role. And I love her. It makes it funny, for sure. But, like, she's not really... Sorry. Right? Look at this. This isn't, this isn't a real performance. This is kind of a troll performance, right? Does everybody agree? I don't know. So is it true how you've been treating Jordan? So you see... Uh, she spilled all this water on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> What? Quiet. What? <laughs> quiet. <laughs> like that's like 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 that's gonna change her mom's mind by saying quiet. What's the big deal? He's. You know she could have instead of okay, if she was a textbook bully narcissist, she wouldn't have said quiet. She would have said, "You spilled that over. You pushed me." She would have immediately deflected. But her saying quiet kind of gave it away. You know. She's a fucking dumbass. Her saying quiet was her admitting that she did it. That's not how a real bully would do it. What? Quiet. That's not what would happen. What's the big deal? He's just a janitor. <laughs> how would you like it if somebody treated you that way? You should never judge someone until you have walked in their shoes. Literally. <laughs> You're joking, right? How can you be... I, this is what I don't understand about Darman videos. It's like the mom shows up and gives some sort of advice or information that apparently, like, this was the first time this child had ever heard these words. It's like, you're their mom. What have you been doing the other 16 years of their life? Right? Like, remember remember the where the mom showed up and it was like, don't bully your brother. And it seemed like that was the first time that they heard that. It's like, you're still their mom at home, right? Are you, are you only their mom when they're at school, like today? Like, what's happening? Why is this the first time she's heard this? Like... Hey, you should never judge someone until you have walked in their shoes. <laughs> you're joking, right? What? We have money. Okay, I would never be a joke. We have money? I'm, like, almost graduated high school, and I haven't even understood for one fucking second that I'm going to have to get a job someday. I fully believe that you, mother heterochromia, will take care of me and pamper my every need, because I'm so rich that despite me not going to a private school, or maybe this is one, and this is why there's only six students there, I don't know. Like, what is this scenario? Janitor. That's gross. There is no shame in hard work. Yeah, Sniper Wolf folded clothes once. Maybe you should try, maybe you should try going in sni SS Sniper Wolf's shoes and fold some clothes at a store. <laughs> you know what? That's the problem. You have never done hard work a day in your life. You know, if my wrist wasn't fucked, I would totally do the leg finger snap thing but i know that i shouldn't do that and i'm so happy that even in my drunken stupor that my my uh what's it called my uh autopilot is smart enough not to do that and i'm very happy that my autopilot is smart enough not to do that thank you thank you thank you drunk me that's gonna change what are you talking about you my dear <laughs> You're going to be the janitor. <laughs> are going to be a janitor. Yeah! <laughs> I always say something stupid and then it... <laughs> I think of the stupidest fucking thing that it could possibly be said. <laughs> but this is just what... This is what he writes. Change. What are you talking about? You, my dear, are going to be a janitor. So you know. <laughs> I've signed the contract for it. It's not complicated. We're changing. You're going to be the janitor. And Justin, what was his name? Justin? He is going to be my daughter. You're trading. You're trading places. Thursdays on NBC how it feels and you can start by cleaning up this mess jordan thank you made what 
No, mom, there's no way I'm going to do that. Yeah, clean up the water with this broom. I guess it might be a mop. Never mind. You don't have a choice. It's only like a cup full of water. Jordan? Yeah, I knew it started with a J. Calm, calm down. It's either that or... You it's either that or the gulag. You are grounded the entire summer. Mom! Let's go hang Oh my god, I have to watch that again. That was so funny. The smug... Come on, Jordan! Let's go hang out with a sniper wolf! Twirls mustache. Uh, <laughs> puts on monocle. Like... Come <laughs> on, Jordan. Let's go hang out with Sniper Wolf. I gotta, sorry, I gotta start from the beginning of that line. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh. Every frame is painting. Come on, Jordan. Let's go hang out with Sniper Wolf. Like, this daughter has never experienced a moment in her life where her mom was, like, telling her off like this. This is, like, the first moment. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. This is so dumb. So dumb! Bree can't believe what just happened. I love... I love how the markers are still on the floor. Look at these tiny pieces of tape that they still kept there for, like, some of the extras. All they had to do was just remove these tiny pieces of tape, and they didn't. And it's so good. Right? Believe what just happened. The next day, Bree has to clean. They literally gave her the job. Like, what? What do you mean? Like, the janitor is just like retired now. Bree is taken over. What the fuck? No one would do this. This is for children. I would believe this when I was a child. Clean the floors in between classes. Ha ha! Breathe a branitor! Ha ha! One of the students comes and throws their garbage at her. Ah! But it was an accident! Her laughing and calling her names. Nope, she's being bullied legit now. You see, SS Sniper Wolf has so much social power that she's able to convince the other children in the school to bully this one kid. Bree uh, is so embarrassed. Bree is so embarrassed. During lunch, while Bree is picking up the trash. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> Another Frito Lay! Another student dumps their entire tray on the floor. This is a cycle of violence. Also, this is the. Sh this is like the second shittiest sandwich I've ever seen next to uh, the film Amusement. There's no, there's no like, there's no condiments on this sandwich. There's no, there's no like sauce. It's literally just a, one piece of white bread somehow cut in half and then a piece of lettuce and some shitty looking American processed cheese. All right. It might be two pieces of bread. This is a, how did she take a bite out of that? What is that? Where was the bite? Given how those two pieces of bread look. This is the worst sandwich I've ever seen. No wonder it was only $1.50. <laughs> how much was it? Did I get that right? Salamancer. Confirm whether or not it was $1.50. Fact check me. Thank you. Floor. All the kids laugh and stare. Small ass school. Bree gets completely humiliated. Man, 15% of the school is assigned to janitor duty now. <laughs> and after school, while Bree is mopping the floor, one of her classmates comes and dumps the entire bucket. Oh! <laughs> Uh, her to clean up. I didn't know I could be the bully. -y. The whole. Oh my goodness. 
whole school can't stop laughing. I, lo I love how they reaffirm that this is, in fact, the whole school in the frame of this shot. <laughs> I love how Darman's like, yep, this is the whole school right here. <laughs> Bree so embarrassed and finally understands what she made Jordan feel like. You just needed to hit her a couple times. And <laughs> She's not even getting paid. This is child slave labor. She's just getting bullied to do this work. And then one day, Bree happens to see Jordan. Uh. Looks ah these kids these kids just casually tossing their trash at her oh I love this this is so funny love it they've all got they've all got empty water bottles for this moment they were saving them on their walk uh 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 they're like let's not use the trash on the sidewalk here let's not use the trash let's wait until we see Bree show her what for. Maybe if the school had a recycling bin, they wouldn't do that. Here you go. A hundred eighty-six dollars. One hundred and eighty-six. I know it's not much, but I hope it helps. What? No, oh, honey. Is this for her? Oh, that's his mom. He was. So I remember the plot line earlier. I'm doing this janitor work so I can help my mom with her bills. I didn't realize he would be giving his mom the bill he got in the parking lot, signed over to her in a check from him. I am so proud of you. This is going to help more than you'll ever know. Mom, can you give me a quick sex? I will not give you a quick sex. That is incest. I'll be right back. Okay. Wah! I'm not even getting paid. <laughs> Wah! I'm forced to be a janitor today. <laughs> this is so weird. Here, I'll help you. Please don't hit me with that. Ah! She's so used to the abuse she expects it. Hit you with it? Why would I do that? Why? I'm not you. I don't know. Because of how I treated you. Look, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. I never should have judged you before walking in your shoes. Never knew how hurtful it was to be made fun of. When I was making you feel bad, I didn't know that you felt bad when I made you feel bad. When I... When I did the things in order to make you feel bad, I didn't know that you felt bad because of the things that I did. I thought you felt... When I tried to make you feel bad, I thought you felt good. Have fun, son. All right. Can you please forgive me? Of course. Come on. I'll help you finish. That's what she said. <laughs> well, it's not that much. Thanks, Mom. We really live, truly live in a gangster's paradise. Hey, guys. I None of this plot justified Sniper Wolf being in it at all. This wasn't, this had nothing to do with, this was about a janitor and a bully. And they threw Sniper Wolf in as a character who had a meet and greet that she actively avoided meeting and greeting people at. And she ran from the children that had showed up for the meet and greet that she had scheduled and printed posters for. And then went outside and told the children to go there instead when she noticed someone was being bullied. None of this had to do with Sniper Wolf. I hope you love that message, message about... about how you should never judge somebody until you've walked in their shoes. Then judge them.
I love that. I hope you guys love this message. And please, 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 please remember, remember, we're, we're not, not just, just telling, telling stories. stories. We're, we're changing lives. lives. <laughs> we'll see, I'll you see you in the, the next, next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. It's June 2021. So here's this month's Patreon credits. Wholesome 100 Big Chungus Lemonade Warrior, Big Weld from Robots the Animated Movie, Serazer, Mandel Bro, Unlucky T, Kel Hunt, Wales, Simon Meadow Valley, Bo the Doggo, Boards of Cinema, Purple Fire, Kai Butcher, Pit Inhabitant, Gabriel Herrera, Kirbymon, Splat, Lord Durham, Hoofy Doe, Olivia Spores, Ocean Machinery, Malavsha, and Ali Matamid. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you later.